So this example involves two population, right? So this is about um, a company that wants to install a machine and they are trying to consider machine A and machine B. Uh, they will use machine B if the mean time taken from, from machine B is less than the mean time for machine A. So obviously this will be our claim. But uh, let's continue reading. The following table shows the assembling time for both machines. So this is obviously two different population. These are the data that you get from machines from machine A and these are the data that you get from machines from machine B. So there are two different population. So this is the case of independent samples, right? Independent samples. The question here is which machine should be installed by the company to assemble its product? Test the hypothesis at 10 percent significance level so here alpha is equal to one zero point one zero okay so let's try to understand our claim here the claim uh, we need to choose uh, whether we want, we want to install machine B or machine A so let's say our claim here is to install machine B okay so what is the prerequisites if you want to install machine B it will only we will only install machine B if the mean time is less than machine A. So we have it here. The mean time of machine B should be less than the mean time of machine A. So this gives us the hypothesis of new A minus new B should be less than 0. And this again, this go to H1. Sorry. Okay, so this is our claim. And then H0 is the, the complete opposite greater equal to zero. Right, so we're done with step one. So let's solve this using Microsoft Excel, which is to find the p-value using Microsoft Excel. So in Microsoft Excel, in the data analysis tool, you have these options for two samples of different population. Z-test, t-test, uh, sorry, t-test, t-test, and, and also z-test. So if your sample is by assuming the equal variances, so, so you will use the first option here. But if you're assuming that they, the two populations has unequal variances, you will use the second options here. But if your um, study case is the case of where you need to use z-test, which means that if the sample size, if the sigma are unknown and the sample size are greater than 30, or if the sigma is known, so you, so you will be using the z-test. Okay, so then you will use this third option. So, so for our case just now, um, we have that the population variances is not given at all, and the sample sizes are all less than 30, so we will be using the t-test. Right, so we're going to need to choose either to assume that it is equal variances or to assume that there are unequal variances. So you can't simply make this assumption, but you have to test this using hypothesis testing. Okay, so before you can go and proceed with the independent sample hypothesis testing, you first need to test whether the two population variances are equal or are they unequal. So then you need to conduct another hypothesis testing before you can proceed with the hypothesis testing for the independent samples. So this is the hypothesis testing to find out the differences between the variability between the two population. Uh, you can put your claim in either H now or H1, it doesn't really matter because all you want to know is whether they are equal or they are not equal. Okay, and we're going to find uh, the p-value for this hypothesis testing using Microsoft Excel. And if you, oh sorry, excuse me, yeah, right, so you will find this instruction in your book. Uh, in order to find the p-value, you need to um, key in your data and then you have to type in this formula. So different um, versions of Microsoft Excel may use a different formula, so you can try this using your excel but if it doesn't work then you need to go and find it on youtube okay so just explore it on your own so by using this formula here after i click on enter i will get this p value from this formula right so this p value here is the p value for the hypothesis testing to figure out the difference in the variability here so we get it that it is 0 0.2239 compared against our significance level so this is greater so then again we will 
choose to do not reject H now. Okay, so do not reject H now. So that means again we will accept H now and reject H1. So this is the assumptions that we will use to proceed with our hypothesis testing for the independent samples. All right. So then uh, the conclusion here is that they are assuming equal variances. We're going to use this assumption to proceed with our example 3.12. And so therefore, in the Microsoft Excel, you will need to choose the option for um, assuming equal variances. You may not uh, be able to see this clearly because I zoom in um, my picture. But if you look at your Microsoft Excel later, you will see that uh, this is two sample assuming equal variances. So um, click on this and then follow all the instructions needed. Then you, can, you will get this output from your Microsoft Excel. All right. So let's take a look at this output here. Um, there are a lot, a lot of information provided to you from this output. Uh, you get to see what is the sample size. <coughs> Excuse me. You get to see what is the sample size for each machine. So machine A has eight uh, data, and so is machine B also has eight data. And then the hypothesized parameter here, which is the hypothesized mean difference, is zero, which is correct. Okay, this is what you should set when you were doing uh, when you were. Mm, doing it using your data analysis previously. So this is set by you according to your claim. And then uh, you have your test statistic value here and also you have two p-value in here. One p-value is for the one tail test and another p-value is for two tail tests. So you need to choose whether to use the p1 tail or p2 tail, right? So in this output here, um, you, I have used alpha 0 0.1 in my options before I get this output. Okay, so I'm going to choose between P1 tail and P2 tail. So which one should I choose? So this depends on your hypothesis statement, right? So let's take a look at the hypothesis statement again. So this is a one tail test, correct? So this is a one tail test. So I'll be using the P value for one tail, which is 0 0.1242. Okay, so we proceed to compare our p-value with the significance level, which is 0 0.1. So again, the p-value is greater than the significance level, so we do not reject H now, right? So the conclusion here at 10% significance level, again, there is not enough evidence to support the claim. So therefore, machine A will be installed by the company to assemble its product. Okay, so that's how you find the p-value for the differences between two population mean for the case of independent sample using Microsoft Excel. And making the decision and conclusion is according to the p-value approach. Right? 